Agolli ötürme kapı karşısına. Zerba basıldı. Zerba! Kurbanım, öten ille müqayisede ireli atılmış bir adım da Avropa Ligasının grup mərhələsində iştirak edəcək. Orada esas hedefler ne olacak? Biz belə deyək, e, böyümek istəyirik. Həm komanda olarak, həm klub olarak böyümek istəyirik və həmin e, grupdaki oyunlarda mütləq çalışırıq ki, futbolcularımızın belə deyək, həm təcrübəsi, həm e, ustalı səviyyəsi daha da e, yaxşılaşsın. You probably ask, who is this guy? Great question. April 13th, 1972, Zakatala, SSR. Gurban Gurbanov, born on April 13th, 1972, in Zakatala, SSR, Soviet Socialist Republic. From his early days kicking a ball in the streets of Zakatala, a small town nestled in the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains, Gurbanov displayed an innate talent and passion for the beautiful game that would propel him to great heights. As a young boy, Gurbanov's love for football was evident to all who knew him. He would spend hours honing his skills on makeshift pitches, dreaming of one day making it big in the world of professional football. His dedication and perseverance soon caught the attention of local coaches, who recognized his raw talent and nurtured his development through the ranks of local youth teams. Gurbanov was football and football Peşekar, bilikli ve temperber insan kimi. Ve aynı zamanda yakin ki tamaşaçılar da benim fikrime şerik olarlar. Gurban Gurbanov özünü oyunlar zamanı çok lağetle yapar. Gurbanov's rise through the ranks of Azerbaijani football was meteoric. He made his professional debut for Kur and has since played for Mertzkali Ozergedi, Daskin Zakatala, Alazani Gurjani, Turan Tovuz, Neft Chibaku, Dinamo Stavropol, Baltica Kaliningrad, Fakel Voronezh, and Volgar Gazprom. Biz uşaqlıqda mənim arzum olub Neftçi oynamağa və bu vaxtdan Böyle çağızak keçiliyə deyildim. Sonra da Nefçinin həvəsində ki, belki de futbolu gəlmişim. Ve indi özümün xoşbaxt sanırım ki, Nefçideyim hal-hazırda. Təsəvvür ilə ki, seçim karşısındasan, ya sən Nefçiyə qurban olursan, ya Nefçi sən qurban olur. Hansını seçerdin? Bu, evveller bir siz. Ben o Nefçidə oynamadığım vaxtı, yəni uşaqlıq vaxtında deyildim ki, həmişə Nefçiyə qurban olurum. O vaxtı mən qurban olur. Ve indi də Nefçi bəli qurban olsa daha yaxşı olur. It was during his time at Nefci Baku that Gurbanov truly began to make a name for himself on the national stage. His goal-scoring exploits in the 1996-97 season, where he notched an impressive 25 goals to become the leading scorer in the Azerbaijan Premier League, catapulted him to stardom and earned him the prestigious title of Azerbaijan's Player of the Year in 2003. But Gurbanov's impact extended far beyond individual accolades. His leadership on the field and his ability to inspire those around him propelled Nefci Baku to new heights, cementing their status as one of the top clubs in Azerbaijani football. His tenure at Nefci Baku also saw him make his mark on the international stage, as he became the record goal scorer for the Azerbaijan national team with 14 goals in 68 matches, a feat that still stands as of January 2006. After hanging up his boots, Gurbanov transitioned seamlessly into a new role as a coach and administrator, where he continued to leave an indelible mark on Azerbaijani football. He served as the sport director of Inter Baku before taking on the role of head coach at Nefci Baku in the summer of 2006, leading the team to success in both domestic and international competitions. Ben en büyük tecrübe, en büyük ihtimal e, ele... Barcelona'da olduğum müddətdə oldu, onların akademiyasında olduğum müddətdə oldu. Çünki çox mükəmməl bir iş görülmüşdü, qurulmuşdu və bunu belə deyək indi çox Azərkeş də bunu eşitmişdi, elə sizlər, media işçiləri hamı eşitmişdi. Ona görə ola bilər ki, biraz da bu fikir oradan formalaşıb ki, mən o komandaya daha çox Azərkeş deyirəm, ümumiyyətlə o fərsifəyə daha çox diqqət ayıram. In 2008, 
Gurbanov took on a new challenge as head coach of FK Quarabag, where he would go on to achieve unprecedented success. Under his guidance, Karabag experienced a golden era, winning multiple league titles and making historic strides in European competitions. Sonra gelir, elbette ki rehberliğinle bizim aramızda olan münasibet, birbirimize inanımız, güvenimiz ve insan her yeri de böyle diyelim ki, öz peşesinde, öz istediğini rehberliğe bildirirse çok insan onu elde edebilir. Ve burada eğer biz yakış iş görmek istedikse, eğer biz uğurlu nefes elde edilmek istedikse, rehberliğin benim böyle diyelim ki tekliflerime, benim taleplerime güveni çok vacib idi. Ve sağ olsunlar, ben defelerle bunu çekinmeden deyirəm. In 2014, the club won the Premier League, their first league title in 21 years. Quarabag have won the Premier League 10 times and Azerbaijan Cup 7 times. Quarabag became the second Azerbaijani team after Nefci FK to advance to the group stage of a European competition, making its in the UEFA Europa League group stage in 2014-15 season, a feat that solidified his status as the most successful manager in Azerbaijani football history. Gurbanov's crowning achievement came in 2017 when he led FK Korobag to the UEFA Champions League group stages, making them the first Azerbaijani team to reach the pinnacle of European club football. His tactical acumen and leadership were instrumental in Karabag's historic run, which captured the imagination of football fans across Azerbaijan and beyond, and where they played against Atletico Madrid 1, 1, and 0, 0. By the way, after when Atletico took the third place, they won the European League. Bitir! 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 In addition to his success at the club level, Gurbanov also made his mark on the international stage as the manager of the Azerbaijan national team. In 2017, he was appointed manager of the national team, a position he held with honor and distinction until his resignation in 2018. Under his guidance, the national team showed promise and potential, laying the groundwork for future success on the international stage. Additionally, FK Quarabag achieved another milestone when they reached 116th in the UEFA Europa League for the first time, where they defeated Braga with an aggregate score of 6-5. Subsequently, they faced Bayer Leverkusen in the quarterfinals, playing a thrilling match that ended 5-4. Unfortunately, they were unable to advance further, facing a stroke of bad luck. Nevertheless, this achievement marked a historic moment in the club's journey. Throughout his storied career, Gurban Gurbanov has been a shining example of the power of passion, perseverance, and dedication to the beautiful game. From his humble beginnings in Zakatala to his historic achievements as a player and coach, his journey serves as an inspiration to footballers and fans alike, leaving an enduring legacy that will be remembered for generations to come.